Welcome to our spaghetti wall. Very interesting part of our kitchen. Wait a second. No, no, no. Up, up. That's not it. There you go. That's our spaghetti wall. Some people refer to it as an art installation. Very interesting patterns thrown up against our wall. It's the result of many, many spaghetti dinners over the past few years. I think mostly the result of my daughter Maddie, who learned that the way to tell when spaghetti is done is you take one out of the pan, whip it against the wall, if it sticks, it's done. Now there's something very interesting, almost unbelievable, that I've discovered about this. I can actually just lick it a little bit, take a lick at one of those spaghettis and remember the meal. Watch this. Start with this one. It's a summer night. It was one of those nights where he figured it's really too hot to make spaghetti, but that's all that was available. We did it. It's a summer night. We had broccoli, and it was a homemade tomato sauce. I'm pretty sure. Let's see this one. Well, it's a soba noodle. It's that dark flour. I'm pretty sure my wife made one of those uh, dishes with, uh, it's like meatballs made out of tofu and fried. It's, it doesn't sound good, but it's, it's good stuff. Let's see what else we got. Mmm. I remember that one. It was uh, in January 1995. Maddie was the whipper. I mean, look at the pattern. Woo! It's excellent. Excellent job. But what we ate that night, it wasn't the spaghetti so much, it was the dessert that was so special. It was just a, I know, some kind of, some kind of uh, cinnamon cake. Anyway, what else? Okay, how about this one? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's that time I got really sick. Oh, gee, I mean really sick. 